Well, good morning, everybody. Um, <clears throat> an, another unscheduled YouTube uh, rant, uh, purely because of all the stuff that is going on at the moment. Uh, Boris and Rishi, should they resign? What would you do? If I was them, I'd say you can all you know, go and do one. You know, they've been working hard, doing stuff. A week before, he nearly died of the convicts. So they're having a meeting in Downing Street, of which 400 people work, and the three of them, the Prime Minister and the Chancellor, is going in there and, uh, and saying, oh, it's your birthday, have a bit of cake, a bit of warm beer. Phew, Boris wouldn't drink that, he'd not be a man. And so, so they tell me, uh, it's crazy. And all the opposition can do, that idiot from the Lib Dems, oh, I haven't seen what that Scottish bloke's been saying yet, but I, I know Nicola Sturgeon, I'm a little deep bite short and stout, up my mouth and Jake comes out. That... So is that all the opposition can do is to try and trip people over. They haven't got any policies themselves. They just wait for someone else to fail. Why do they bother turning up in the House of Commons? Why don't they just let the Conservatives implode by doing all these things that don't really matter in the scheme of things and say, right, they've screwed up. It's our turn to have a go now. Oh, I can't wait for that. It's absolutely stupid. How many MPs have been done for speeding? They have to resign as well. What's going on? If I was Boris, I'd say you can all go and do one because I'm off. I've got enough money. Do you know why he's not doing it? Because he cares. He cares about our country. Now, if you think he should resign, tell me the truth. You don't like him. Uh, you don't like Rishi. Rishi was the god, wasn't he? He was the new Superman. He was Clark Kent and everybody rolled into one when he was giving money away. Now he's looking at balancing the books. He's a bad one. Do you know why people don't like him? Because they don't give a shit about the rest of the world. They only care about themselves. Like me, actually, I care about myself, so I care about what goes on in politics. And I think all oh, these idiot Labour people and Liberal Democrat flaky Oh, all they can do is moan, moan, moan. Get some policies together and then maybe someone will vote for you who's got half a brain rather than all the people, oh, I don't like him, he got more money than us. How dare that Prime Minister earn that money? He should give it all to a refugee. Huh, the world's gone bonkers. Anyway, if you want to really hear me have a moan, come down to Babacom on Saturday if you've got nothing to do. I'm at the Babacom Theatre in Babacom. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's not Pearl and Dean. It's Jan and Dean. That was, I think. Anyway, I'm, I'm not too sure. Right. Okay. Don't forget our tickets for left, right, and centre are selling like hotcakes, and it's down in Wimborne. Oh one two oh two double eight something or other. Have a look. It'll be on this little crawler. So come along and see that. We're recording loads and loads of shows of this new panel show. And of course the press are kicking off because I said there's going to be no wokeness. There will be no wokeness on any of my shows. So there. Okay. See you later, folks. Don't forget my new... If you really want to piss someone off, download my new DVD from the horse's mouth. Okay, you don't have to join Ustream, just go to Ustream, go on the shop, download it, job done, play it to your friends, upset them, snowflakes melting all over the place. Bye, I've got to go to London. I don't like going to the doctors in case they tell you you're ill. I had a woman doctor once who examined me, I had to go for that yearly check, and she's feeling my fucking nuts. My bollocks, right, with, like this, and, and she went, oh, said, what? She said, well, Mr. Davidson, you've got to stop masturbating. I said, why? She said, because I'm trying to examine you. <laughs> right? Two poached eggs. She's gone like this. <laughs> we ain't got them. I said, well, you've got eggs. Yeah, but they're chicken's eggs. <laughs> You're a nurse. Really? What the fuck are you doing here? Shouldn't you be curing people? <laughs> I was fucking clapping you a couple of Thursdays ago. <laughs> You'll be going to a party in fucking Downing Street next. How dare you? You should fucking resign. How dare you come out and have a fucking laugh? He went, Jim, what he said, oh, he said, I'm a friend of another friend of mine who actually co-wrote a book with me. He said, I want to give you this. It's my This Is Your Life book, right? And he said, Tim's had this book for ages and wanted to get it back to you, but never knew where you'd be. Every time he tried to find you, you'd moved and had a new wife. <laughs> people don't know people. Remember Liberace died, they sold his piano for $3 million. 
couldn't give the fucking stool away. But... <laughs> what the, where the fuck do these things come from? I'm going a bit mad. 